iOS 16.5 is almost here. It's currently on its RC version and should be out to the public in a couple of days now. This is actually a really, really important update as you will need to have this installed on your device in order to then update to iOS 17 and of course even iOS 17 beta. But of course with the release of iOS 16.4, Apple has made a lot of changes when it comes to updating your device, especially when you're updating to beta and from beta. So in this video, I will show you guys everything that you need to know on how to get iOS 16.5 on your device if you're on a public beta or you have a dev beta installed or you just have iOS 16.4.1 installed on your device. Well, if you have iOS 16.4.1 installed on your device, that would be of course the easy way. All you have to do is go to general and you can update from here. Probably every one of you guys already knows about this. What I would suggest is make sure that you have turned on everything on automatic here. So if you don't wanna bother by installing it manually, you can just go ahead and have it installed automatically throughout the night and you will also enable here security responses that's really really important as well because apple has started pushing security responses to the public so that's really great but what happens if you have a public beta or a dev beta installed on your device well we have two different scenarios here if you have the latest beta installed on on your device of ios 16.5 not the rc version but beta 5, I believe it was 5 or 4, one of them, if you have a beta and not the RC version and you want to update directly to the public release, all you have to do right now without installing the RC version is head on to beta updates here and make sure to switch them off. That way you won't get the RC version on your device and you will get the public release once it's released, most likely this Monday. But what if you have already installed the RC version on your device? Well, if you have the RC version currently on your device, that means that you have basically the same software, the same thing that will be released on Monday to the public as well. So you won't get an update, even though you might turn it off here, you still won't get an update when it gets released to the public because you already have the exact same software installed on your device. Now, once you have iOS 16.5 on your device, then you will have to decide whether you wanna keep updating to betas or not. If not, you can go ahead and go to beta updates here and make sure you have that switched off right there. Now, Apple is most likely releasing a new beta for iOS 16.6 very, very soon. They already have been testing iOS 16.6 internally and it will be released on the first beta probably very soon. So if you don't wanna get that update on your device, make sure you go ahead and switch it off right here. And then of course, you might wanna wait for the beta of iOS 17, which will be released of course, on June 5th after WWDC 2023. So that's really, really cool, of course, and you will probably have an option here if we have two beta programs at the same time, most likely we will get an option here for iOS 17 beta and iOS 16 beta, so you can choose whichever one of them you want. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is how you can update your device to iOS 16.5, which most likely will be released to the public this Monday or at least on Tuesday. So that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like if you did. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 16 and 17 videos. Those will be coming out really, really soon. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you on the next one.